Hey guys, welcome to my new video series all about creating an online course. So what I'm going to be doing is creating and launching a new online course and I'm going to bring you with me for the ride and show you behind the scenes of how I bring a new course to life. So the course I'm creating is called Scale with Kartra and this is going to be a course to help business owners simplify and scale their online business using the all-in-one marketing platform Kartra. This is what's going to allow people to create their own online course or membership site, create sales funnels, and a whole lot more of advanced things to help them grow their business. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the three phases of outlining an online course. So the first thing I need to do is create a rough outline of my course. I use the tool Asana for this. It is one of my favorites. It allows me to plan out all of my projects and store all of my ideas in one place. Okay, so let's dive in and I'll show you how I do this. So the first thing I do is create a rough outline in Asana. So usually I'm actually using the list view for most projects in Asana like this. But when it comes to outlining my course, I actually like to use the board view. So as you can see at the top of my columns, I have the module name and then I have each of the lessons written below it. So what's great is I can outline my course and then I follow it as I create it and I can click right here and mark them complete. So as you can see, this course has a lot of different modules. So it was really important to map this out and figure out the order that I wanted to teach everything in. Guys, check out this monster of a course. Um, you know, luckily all of the videos whenever I create courses are short and actionable lessons. So it's not actually going to be overwhelming. Kartra is just so powerful that I do need to cover everything. You know, how to set up your own help desk and your calendars and integrating this with Squarespace. And of course, I always like to put bonuses in. Um, so yeah, as I'm creating this, I will also make some notes for myself. So if we go back to the first column, you can see I've put a note to myself. Okay, here are important things to cover and I'll put some um, notes in this section here of things that I need to ensure that make it into the course. And then at the end here, you'll see that I have a column for big selling points. So as I'm creating the course, I can start to really see why this would be so valuable for someone to invest in. So I'm writing notes for myself. You know, for example, you can include entire funnels. I can do non ugly page templates. I can talk about the money saved with the software, the time saved. So these are just ideas that will come up as you are outlining your course. So yeah, this is how I outline my course. And what I love about this is that everything is drag and drop. So for example, if I decided I wanted to cover this first, I could simply move it into this module instead. So this basically gives me a lot of flexibility when I am coming up with the course and I can do it with individual cards. I can also do it with entire columns. So having a system that is so flexible like this to outline everything is very helpful. So step one is to create a rough outline like this in Asana. If you are not using Asana in your business yet, I would highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description below for my free roadmap that will get you started with this fantastic software. After I've completed my rough outline, then I go through and do a ton of research and make sure that I haven't missed anything. So I'll go through all of the trainings provided by the company themselves. So for example, Kartra offers some trainings. So I went through all of those. Then I also went through their Facebook group. So a lot of softwares and companies will have Facebook groups related to their program. So I went in there and I scrolled through everything and I looked at, okay, where are people getting stuck? What are the most commonly asked questions? And so that I could build this into my course so that people wouldn't get stuck. I also decided to hire consultants. So anything that I wasn't sure of, I was hiring consultants, booking in hourly sessions with them to make sure that this course is as strong as it can be. On top of this, I mean, I have been using this software personally myself for over a year now. So I as well have been through a lot of problems simply through trial and error. So I know exactly what I need to include in this course. Okay, so I've created my rough outline and now I've done any research or training that I need to. Now I'm going to go in and finalize my outline. 
So the last step is to finalize your outline. So I would come in here, make sure that I've covered everything that I want to. And then of course I can rearrange my lessons by dragging and dropping. After I have done that, then I will go in and take notes on all of the lessons. So for example, if I click on this one here, you can see some notes that I've taken for myself. And this is what's going to guide me once I am ready to actually film these lessons. So yeah, this ends up giving you a full blueprint for your course and a guide for when you are filming. So this takes away a lot of the overwhelm of bringing your course to life. And then on top of this, it feels so good to go in and see everything that you have completed so far. You know, it's funny guys, often I will as well, if you click on this one here, you'll see that I've marked this as easy. Sometimes it will get really overwhelming when you're creating your course and I will procrastinate so much on sitting down and actually getting the lessons done. So I'll add a tag like, okay, Louise, this is easy. Don't worry, you can do it. Just sit down and actually do the filming. So yeah, I'll go through and um, mark ones that are easy and then I know, okay, you can you know fly through these and actually get these done. This is one of those little mental tricks that I do. So after you've completed all of these steps, you are done and your outline is ready to go. And now the next step is prepping your course for sale. All right, guys, that's it for this video. That is the process I go through to outline an online course. Now I'm really excited for the next video in this series. I'm going to show you what I do to prep this online course for sale. So I hope you enjoyed the first video in this series. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.